a big relief to all Nigerians, particularly those who have followed the history of Nigerian football, that the game is coming back home, finally, to the Maka of football. On the 30th of March, 2021, the Nigerian Super Eagles will play a competitive match in Lagos for the first time in 20 years. The last competitive match played in the former capital city was the 2002 African Cup of Nations qualifying encounter where the Eagles defeated Zambia one goal to new. For the most part of history, Lagos has been the home of the Green Eagles, the Super Eagles and the Lagos crowd has been their home crowd. The national stadium located in the heart of Surulere, Lagos, was the home and slaughter slab of the Nigerian senior men's national team. Lagos has an incredible history of matches that have defined football in Nigeria. In our days, for example, which is not too long ago, um, the national stadium used to be known as the abattoir of foreign teams. You never thought you would lose any match. The city of Lagos, buzzing with a population of over 20 million, has always provided the Super Eagles with the energy, support and motivations needed to subdue their opponents. The euphoria and passion of the fans blends into the team long before the first whistle. Let's put it this way, if they're playing at 3 o'clock, the stadium gates were open from about 9 and they started to fill up uh, from 10. To, if, if you didn't, were not in the stadium by about 12, the chances of you getting in um, was almost, you know, maybe negligible. I didn't put it that way. It was great. I think there was a generation before myself which I just joined into, but the one I can remember vividly was um, I played in under 20 here, the Nigerian 99 here. So the whole experience, the fan base, the support and everything was great. Yeah, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them how crazy the fans over here are uh, uh, the eye football. Great, it's a great, uh, great, great feeling and I can't wait to play in Lagos and um, yeah, I have heard a lot of stories about it and yeah, I can't wait for it. In the training sessions before the match, fans were throwing the imposing edifice, generating a vibe that could be easily mistaken for the match day itself. And on match day, the fans turn out in large numbers, at times overfilling the 65,000 capacity arena with about 85,000 people. Most notably, the 1980 AFCON final, where the then Green Eagles defeated the Desert Warriors of Algeria three goals to new to lift their first ever title. On one day, 100,000 Nigerians filled this national stadium that had the capacity for 60,000 just to come and watch a game. And as we walked onto the pitch on that day, you could hear the shrill sound of a trumpet, which was being blown by Zil Onya, late Zil Onya, the high life maestro. He was high up there in the terraces, blowing his trumpet. And 100,000 Nigerians were singing along with him. It was so remarkable that ordinary players that we were, we started to fly like eagles. The Super Eagles moved out of their natural habitat in 2001, becoming homeless, playing at various stadiums across Nigeria, like in Calabar for a while, before later playing in Abuja, Kano, Kaduna, and more recently, Uyo. Over this period of about 20 years, some fans say the Super Eagles seem to have lost their identity as one of the most feared teams on the continent. However, the present generation of players feel otherwise. We're very ready, very prepared, you know, um, it's a game that everybody's looking forward to and hopefully we, we can win, win those two games. I'm really looking forward to it and I love Nigeria, I love the fans and uh, uh, I'm, I'm ready to get the wins for them. The present administration of the Nigerian Football Federation, led by its president, Amaji Pinnick, is on a mission to help the Super Eagles regain its lost respect, hence the decision to return the team to Lagos. You know the way, the passion, the love Nigerians have for this game. It's football. According to the arrangements made by the NFF, 
The Super Eagles will get a feel of the reception from the passionate but vociferous Lagos fans ahead of the Lesotho Cracker when they camp in the city before going away to Benin Republic. The city of Lagos is fundamental. It's um, at the heart of the national team and always has been. I have been at um, the Lagos State Football Association in 2011 and one of the objectives at the time was to get the Super Eagles to come to Lagos because they hadn't been to Lagos at that time for about I think 17 years or something of, of the sort and so it wasn't just because I got to the NFF that I had that objective so we did push I was in the NFF then and got um, Super Eagles to come and play in Lagos against the Sierra Union team uh, I think it was and that was the first time and for me a major achievement and the the uh, atmosphere that they reminded me of my youth um, so it's always been um, something we wanted to do um, why now um, the opportunity arose because we have um, the government who is proactive and who um, had worked on the stadium um, it also uh, worked together for us because as we know there's the pandemic um, and Lagos State uh, is probably the best um, uh, government in terms of um, dealing with the fallouts of this pandemic. What effect will Lagos have on this set of Super Eagles? Many are eager to see how the Super Eagles we saw against Lesotho when they return to their traditional nest. Will their homecoming be glorious or will their fans be left disappointed? People talk about different uh, errors and what people achieve. But I like to say this, that there are actually different errors. This is a totally different era. My era, we won the 2013 Nations Cup. There were errors before myself, so that is past now. This, these are young crop of players that have been together for a couple of years. Last Nations Cup, they didn't do badly. Got a bronze medal, so we can take it a niche up. And then the World Cup as well to move, for, to move further. We have a good coach, we have a good team. We are still building and the good thing is we still have a little bit of time to keep progressing before the tournament comes in um, 2022. So yes, these players can achieve, a, they can achieve a lot. They just have to be together, work together and keep improving. Yeah. Nigeria awaits.